on today's video we are back at the range and today we are testing out another optic this was sent out to the channel by North TAC and this is the North TAC Assault V1 1 to 4 by 28 scope now I'm a big fan of these LPVOs low power variable optics I love running these on ARs and on my 450 Bushmaster all right if you haven't watched the video before this one we did an unboxing video we went over all the specs on this everything in the box the illuminated reticle all that stuff was covered in the unboxing video today we're not going over the specs we're just going to get this sighted in we're going to shoot a lot of rounds with it and just get my final thoughts on this optic at the end of the video all right enough talking let's have some fun all right now the first thing we're going to do is get this sighted in we're on the 25 yard range we are using some 55 grain nozzler varmageddon rounds these are sitting on top of 24 grains of h335 powder now our windage was about perfect but we're way high so we're gonna take this down and here we go with our second shot. All right, our elevation's perfect now, but we're a little bit to the left. I'm gonna go four clicks to the right. These turrets are super nice. I mean, they're nice, audible, they click good. There's no mushiness at all to these turrets. Really impressed with the turrets. All right, this should be our final shot for the side end. all right right here was our first shot this was our second shot and this was our third shot I'm gonna move it back one click to the left and we should be good all right we're gonna shoot a five shot group at the bottom right hand target Nice little group. All right, now we're set up over on the 50 yard range now. We got one of those red and white side end targets down there. We're gonna get this zeroed in at 50 yards. Now, looking through this glass, I've got it turned all the way up now. I got it on four power. And this glass is crystal clear. It's pretty impressive. We're not getting any kind of fish eye effect around it or anything like that. But the eye relief on this is really nice. So far, I don't have anything bad to say about this optic. Let's get this sighted in at 50 yards. We're shooting two inches high, so we're going to do four clicks down. All right, here we go. We're going to shoot a five-shot group at the top right target. All right, this is our five shot group at 50 yards. Not real great, but I'll take it with a one to four. All right, something I wanted to talk about that we didn't cover in the unboxing video because I just now noticed it. Under here, we've got some locking rings. And if you turn these down and tighten them up, you can't move your turrets now. That's something I haven't seen on any budget optics. This is, this is a really nice feature. So you can lock those down 
and now you can't turn those turrets all right now that i got this zeroed right where i want it we're gonna take these off and set that right there i'm gonna pull this cap off and our mark is right here on the back i showed you that in the unboxing video we're gonna turn this cap to zero And there it is. It's locked down. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing with the windage on the other side off camera. Uh, once you get that on there, just put these back on. Tighten them down. Don't over tighten them. Just, you've got that. And with these locking rings, these aren't going anywhere. This is really nice really really like this all right we got two uspsa targets set up we're going to do some short range shots at about 10 yards with the north tack assault we're going to fire two rounds into the a zone of the left target two rounds into the right just keep transitioning back and forth all right i got about 24 or 25 rounds of tool loaded up we're just going to burn through this real fast all right here we go All right, this is our target on the left. Now remember, we got a 50 yard zero on this, so these are shooting just a little bit low. We got all alphas, one Charlie. Now our target on the right, all alphas, two Charlies. Let's talk about the illumination on this optic. Now the sun's right above me here, in front of me, and I'm gonna turn this to the highest setting on red. It's actually, pretty bright I, I'm actually shocked I've got it all the way up on five but you can see the red perfect in there and that doesn't happen too often on a bright sunny day like today with one of these low power scopes but it's really good I turn it down to four I can still see it three on this bright Sun can't see it at all it's all I'm seeing now is the black reticle. Now, if we go to the green, can't see it at all right now. We've talked about this a lot with optics on the channel, that the illumination is great on a real dreary day, rainy day, or right at dusk, or first thing early in the morning before sunrise. That's when the illumination and the reticle shines. But this one is actually bright enough on five and four on red that you can see it right out here in the direct sunlight. So it's pretty cool. We're over on the 100 yard range now. We're going to see how well this North TAC assault can perform at 100 yards. I'm going to be taking this target down, setting it up, and we're going to shoot a five shot group. And we'll see how it does. All right, now at 100 yards, I had no problem seeing the red bullseye in the middle of that blue target. And with the sunglasses on, there's still no fish eyeing at 100 yards. This glass is really clean. Now I don't have my shooting glasses with me today. All I have is the sunglasses. But this is really, really nice glass. All right, that's not a bad group at all. We got three rounds here, two here. Now we do have a 50 yard zero. I was aiming here. I should have been aiming down here at the seven. I wasn't thinking about having it zeroed at 50 yards. But group wise, really good group. All right, my final thoughts on this North Tack Assault. This is a really, really nice optic. I got on their website 
this optic right now will run you 175 direct from their website. Now in the description of this video, I'm going to be putting a 20% off coupon code in there. And you'll get 20% off the 175. Now one thing that we discussed in the unboxing video that we didn't talk about today was there is also a red dot that comes with this. And it is a pistol dot with the vortex footprint. Now I didn't test it on this because one, I wasn't too enthused by it in the unboxing video, but I do believe I'll end up putting that on a 22 or something and testing it out. With this being able to go all the way down to one power and up to four, I don't really see any point in using the red dot that comes with it. Especially when we were over on the pistol range shooting at the USPSA targets at 10 yards, turning this all the way down to one power worked just like a red dot. Let's talk about the glass clarity. Nice, clear, clean glass. At 100 yards, it looks great. With the sunglasses on, without my sunglasses, really nice. No fisheye effect. I couldn't be happier with the glass. The reticle, we talked about that earlier. Even when the red was on in this bright sunlight, it's a really nice day out. I could still see the red reticle on 5 power and 4 power. Now the turrets on this, real happy with those also. They're, they're real tactile, there's no mushiness to them, nice positive clicks every time you turn them. It was real easy to take the Allen wrench, take the screw out, put them back to zero. <coughs> and this locking thing here is really nice. Lock those down and then you don't have to worry about these turrets turning on you. So at the end of the day, this is a really nice optic for just about anything. You want to shoot out to 100 yards with it, it's easy to see the target at 100 yards. Anything shorter, no problems at all. Price is right on it. The other nice thing with this, everything comes in the box. You get the scope caps, front and back. You get a metal scope mount and it's a one-piece mount which is really nice you get all that for 175 dollars and like i said if you want to use my coupon code you get 20 percent off of that i don't think you can go wrong with this i think it would make a great hunting scope too for deer hunting you know i run an lpvo on my 450 bushmaster we've talked about that before now it is a one by six on there and this is only one by four but at 100 yards, you're not going to have any issues taking a deer with this. So, there's a lot of great uses for this North Tack Assault. And I'm happy with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.